I am getting hooked up for my first tour of the University of Kansas campus by none other than Simeon Jansen in there. The great Wayne Simeon. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, let's All go right. check out the let's hill. Let's go check All it right. out. Let's go back to Wayne Simeon, the kid growing up in Leavenworth, Kansas. You know, yep. my hometown was 50 minutes away from here. Uh, my mother and all her family were born and raised right here uh, in Lawrence. Um, there's no NBA team that's really anywhere close. Which makes here, them even more popular. Which makes Kansas <laughs> basketball um, it. All these beautiful limestone buildings here. Yeah, this is actually one of the traditions on campus. Um, there's limestone that were all over the area and built on Mount Oread. And so that's actually where we get the rock chalk chant from. Do you know the history? That's it. What's this building here? Uh, this is Bailey Hall. This is kind of a famous building on campus because actually helium was discovered here. And really? So, um, yeah. We, we got a little notch on our belt for adding something to the periodic table, and then we forever changed the course of birthday parties and, and funny voices. When you were here, did you engage a lot with the general student population, or did you find that the athletes all stuck together? As I found myself in my junior and senior year, I actually was actually spending a lot more time with traditional students rather than um, you know, just hanging out in, in the locker room and things of that nature. What was most different about being outside the bubble? Uh, just getting kind of a grid of, of what uh, life looks like for a normal student, you know. Uh, normal. Which is what? You know, a lot of them have jobs and they have to, you know, double majoring and different things like that. But also, it made me appreciate their support and seeing, you know, how much our performance on the court, you know, meant to the entire student body. But I want to get out and check this, this out here. This is the, uh, the Campanile. It was actually built as a memorial to uh, veterans that were lost in several different wars. Also, it is kind of an entrance into your graduation day. But what a lot of people don't know is that athletes, this is a training ground. Like many of us had to run up oh. this hill. So it kind of serves as a dual purpose and has good memories on graduation days, not so good memories on conditioning days when we had to, to run up it. You were able to experience an NBA championship with the Heat in 2006. There were some injuries, the trade to Minnesota, and by age 26 you were out. You miss basketball? You know, I don't. Really? I don't. You know, I gave it every single thing that I had when I was out there on the court. And there it is, Allen Fieldhouse in all its glory. Yeah, you know, I didn't have to take this way on game days, um, but I would actually come out of my way to drive up Naismith Drive and to, and to get a, a good front view of, of Allen Fieldhouse and, and to kind of let those different historical moments kind of pass through my head and to really kind of set the tone of, hey, it's more than just a game that I'm going to be a part of uh, in there, but it's a historical experience. What does it mean to you to have your jersey hanging in the rafters at Allen Fieldhouse between Kirk Heinrich and Mario Chalmers? I can remember uh, my first time on campus as a freshman walking into Allen Fieldhouse. It was dark, and I looked up there at the Raptors and I saw names, you know, like Chamberlain and Lavellette and Valentine and Manning. It was just really humbled at the, at the opportunity just to play and to wear the same jersey that they did. But I'm really excited to see guys uh, like Mario and Thomas Robinson and future guys. You know, I want that south side of the Fieldhouse to be so filled with jerseys that they'll have to take mine down because that means that Kansas basketball is still prevailing in, in a great way.